Unit 1 Reflection, IDT 7064, and my name is Julie Woodenberg Sully. Reflection Questions. My reflection questions will be based on the book trailer assignment that I give my students after we finish a novel study in my literature classes. There is a link um, attached to this presentation below. Obviously, this is a screencast, so I will send you the um, presentation separately so you may have the link. Application. How can I use elements from this from the many lessons on literary elements that were taught during this novel study? One of the main things that I teach during every um, novel study in my literature classes is we do a plot diagram. And it's very important to me that my students understand um, each part of the plot diagram, the um, inciting incident, rising action, and climax. Um, and sometimes I find that students have a hard time identifying those key points. So I wanted to have a project that would highlight my students' understandings and bring, also bring closure to the book. How, can, how could I adapt this lesson for my sixth grade literature class? What about my social studies class? Um, I would like to also use this in my sixth grade literature class. Um, I think with some minor adjust, adjustments for um, content, I think it could be easily adapted. And my social studies class, I was maybe thinking about doing like a trailer for a civilization um, or even like a person um, within a culture like Genghis Khan or Marie Antoinette, like almost a trailer for a specific historical person. Analysis. What skill set did I expect my students to have prior to this project? I had introduced my students um, to Powtoons, so I had I knew that they would have that particular skill set. And I also um, thought that some of them would have some experience with iMovie, which is some, some of my students made their book trailers in, um, in that way. What instruction played an important part in my students' understanding of this assignment? Um, just being able to locate key events in the plot of the story was important. Um, for each of my novel studies, we do a plot diagram together in class, but there's also things that we do like when we reveal um, how the plot is intertwined with how the character develops throughout the story, and also when we do a mini lesson on conflicts and the types of conflicts. Evaluation. Why is the creation of a book trailer important to how a student understands literature? I really believe that this project, um, instead of just the, ch the child remembering and then regurgitating um, the events on a test, if I were to give them the plot diagram on a test, I really feel like it shows that they understand the important parts of a story and they understand how it leads to the climax. One of the things that I ask my students not to do is to give away the ending of the story because um, like as a movie, I tell them in a movie trailer when you're you know, watching a movie trailer before you go to watch the main movie that you're there to see, the, they can't give away the ending because then what's the point of um, seeing the movie if you know how it's going to end? So this really demonstrates my students' understanding of the rising action and almost stopping slightly before they get to that climax. How will my students effectively communicate what they have learned? They will communicate this by effectively stopping um, before they get to the climax of a story and also properly um, introducing the main characters and the inciting incident and the conflict um, and the protagonist and the antagonist. Um, if they don't address those, then I can tell that they haven't really grasped onto what the book was about. How can I improve this lesson for my students? The first time that I gave this lesson, um, there was definitely some gaps in what the, the students thought they had to do and then what they actually produced. And I'm going to do this with every at the end of every book. So as I go along, I'm going to tweak it. One thing that I need to spruce up is my requirements where I list what the student actually has to accomplish. 
and I think I need to make my rubric that I give them more detail. How can I use other resources to make my students work more meaningful? I have a, a, like a teacher page, it's Haiku Learning, that we use at my school, and I've published some of their work on there, but I would like to make it more public in our school, and unfortunately my school is not very tech savvy. Um, it would be really nice if we could have like a TV screen in the hallway or in the main part of one of our buildings that could maybe, um, you know, just show a running clip of my um, students' work, because I think when students' work is displayed on that level, it really becomes more meaningful to them. All right, this concludes my Unit 1 Reflection. Thank you so much.